All right, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how you back up your MySQL database, okay, manually without uh, using any kind of plugins or anything like that. And um, how you do that is by logging into cPanel and downloading um, your uh, MySQL database, okay. And there are some plugins that will actually do this for you as well, but I thought I'd show you the manual way because uh, it's good to know, okay. So um, you have to log in to your cPanel. Now, of course, you would have to have a blog set up that you want, right? Um, with maybe some pages, or maybe you already have a bunch of content on there. It doesn't really matter. So now you go ahead and log in to cPanel. And you scroll down here to PHP My Admin. Okay. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click on this link. And here we go. Uh, we're going to look at the databases. For this one, we have this strength blog right here, which is uh, this blog, right? These are all of the different uh, tables and what's in them, okay? And uh, what we want to do is go ahead and export this. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on export. All right, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and check some of this um, information here. Now this is already going to be selected, select all. Okay, so you want to make sure that this is all selected. Okay, you also want to come down here and make sure that this SQL, so SQL uh, radio button here is checked. Okay, that's going to be probably default. Okay, for the export option. You also want to come over here and make sure the structure uh, check uh, button here has been checked. You also want to make sure that you check this add drop table. Okay. You also need to make sure that th uh, the following three are checked as well. So these top four things under structure needs to be checked. Okay. Add if not exist, add auto increment value and close table and field names with back quotes. Okay. So you need all of those. All right. Under data, what you want is to have uh, pretty much the default set, complete insert, extended insert, uh, use hexadecimal. And um, let's go ahead and take a look down here, save as file. Okay, this is good. And I choose this as zipped. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just hit go and it's going to go ahead and download it into your download folder. Okay, save file and uh, just hit OK. This is with Firefox. It's going to go ahead and um, download this directly into your, uh, you know, the designated uh, download folder. Okay. All right. And uh, this now has been backed up. So as you can see here, this is in my downloads folder. And uh, this is the file right here. Okay. And that's it. So uh, that's it for this video. It's pretty straightforward. A little bit scary because, uh, you know, you have all these different options here, but just follow the directions as I've out outlined them in this video and you should be safe. Okay. And um, I will see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching.